we all felt like we were in control, but we were in control just near a point. When things go wrong in XRW, they go wrong fast. Good. One of my favorite chores is mowing the lawn. That's when I kind of do most of my thinking. Every once in a while, you get that epiphany. Bing. People ask me if I'm crazy. If you're not doing what you love, then I think you're crazy. Man, Water Bruin Valley is insane. I try to go there as, as often as possible. For training, for me, there's really no other spot that compares with it. Even if the weather's bad, you can usually be jumping. What we want to do here is we want to try to fly an XRW formation over terrain. XRW is the combination of wingsuit flying and high-speed canopy flying. The wingsuiter's on an exit point. The skydiver with the high performance canopy will get out of the helicopter, come past the exit point. Once he passes the exit point, we're gonna exit four-way formation and fly to catch up with him. And this first jump is gonna tell us a lot. It's definitely pretty hardcore and never really been done in this environment before. We're taking the precautionary risks. That way we can perform safe, but also spectacular things that haven't been performed before. We were able to go and do some training jumps down the valley. It enabled us to dial in the speeds without the, the mountain <laughs> right there. I haven't done a whole lot of XRW, and for me especially, it's, it's a learning curve. Flying next to the wall, it just adds this whole scary factor to something that's already kind of technical. That's just a jump to get in the air and learn some stuff about what we want to do. If we could fly a little faster. It was slow, 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 slow. It starts floating. We've been thinking about it for a while, and really awesome to get invited on the project and Mike invited the right people. We're always trying to plan new stuff and uh, Mike made it happen. There's not a more motivated person on the team. Close, 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 like we want it like this. Okay. Miles has the most energy, but Mike is the most motivated, bar none. He's just go, 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 and uh, you know, it's, it's impressive. I love to learn from Swanson. I'm hoping one day soon I can get him to really push me forward with wingsuit flying. He just gets in my face, and his style of coaching <laughs> works for me, though. We'd be watching the weather come through, and we'd see a, a gap, and we'd have to get the helicopter started, take off in the helicopter, and then continue to climb so that Nick could get out high enough above the mountain to deploy his canopy. We just completely trust in Nick and his experience as the best canopy pilot to guide us through the correct path. It is accelerating, exciting, scary, and awesome all at the same time. The reason why it's so dangerous to fly a wingsuit slow is because you're right at the stall point. If you went through that point, you would get to a stall and then you would start to drop. So if you're over terrain at that point, then you're dropping into terrain, which is a very dangerous situation. It's like deliberate, like slow so that we can see it coming, turn to straight. Yeah. So assuming both suits are inflated, that one's going to fly first. He should be aiming to pass at the same height as these. Uh, 
the challenge is everything. I mean, this hasn't been done before as far as we know. We don't know what the line is gonna be. We don't know where the canopy from the exit point is gonna end up on this line. We haven't done this before. I haven't flown this line with a big wingsuit. So I don't know how high we're gonna be or what's gonna happen. The canopy's flying its fastest forward speed and we're flying at our slowest. So it's kind of the juggling game, you know? Now we're gonna exit towards the water. Exit. Yeah. And then get onto him, eh? And we're going around the outside of the field of joy? Yeah, well I am, and if he flies across it, he's gonna I'm be solo, solo, right? Okay. So we're going left of the field of joy. Yeah. Hopefully. Where do you guys land? Uh, let's get to the field. suits right near the stall point to be able to fly with the uh, canopy. It's a really uneasy feeling to be flying at that speed. things not to do when you're in Switzerland. Let's have a look what not to do. Let's go down here. Don't land in the cash. It's not very good for your shoes. This is just awesome, just doing things that have never been done before. We're taking our time with developing it, and we're all getting more comfortable with each other, and it's just such an amazing feeling to be with such a group of uh, experienced professional athletes. It's amazing visuals. I mean, I don't think anyone's seen this stuff before, and it's going to be burned in here forever. Yesterday, not having the exit point open pushed us to do the practice runs, and I don't think we'd be where we, we're at right now if uh, we didn't have those practice runs, for sure. We're busy seeing what we need to change and how we need to adapt to find the solution to always make it work. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to the next level so it can stay uh, exciting for us. I think everybody got real excited and just seeing the potential of, uh, of what we're doing out here. So we're just planning for the next time. They feed off of each other, I do know that. All their lives, they have tried to one-up each other.